We going on a trip. You did that, Jesus. Says the girl who loves road trips. But we still want to be hustling and bustling with everything. Today just feels so weird for me. Like maybe this trip is just about me being by myself. You know. First of all, let's get into an unexpected, unplanned God's favor room tour. Okay, the bathroom. I had ten thousand. God made it thirty. What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. <clears throat> I got like a sinus thing going on and it is just like, ugh. It got me sounding like man over here. Y'all, this is gonna be a whole little weekend vloggy. Little, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be hanging out with me because we about to go somewhere, okay? We going on a trip. It's just a little trip, you know what I'm saying? Nothing major. I'm driving. I'm just getting really some me time. I, I'm looking forward to this drive. One thing about me, I love a road trip, like love it. I'm going to Tennessee. I'm going to see my boyfriend. But driving to Tennessee is just so beautiful. Like you see the mountains, the lakes, like it's just such a serene, beautiful drive. So I'm looking forward to like spending some time with myself, spending some time with God um, on the road because this is a part of what I say I was gonna start doing for myself. Every month I am going on a little staycation just some type of little weekend getaway to where i can have some alone time just get a break from motherhood and just you know reconnect with myself reconnect with god and so i'm really looking forward to my trip oh so y'all we are packing i got a bunch of little things from the tiktok shop this is one of them it's like a um little two-piece obviously i can't show y'all the whole thing oh I got so much stuff y'all but yeah it's like a little two piece set um I just needed some comfy like winter time when I say I haven't been winter shopping and I don't know how long I was just struggling so bad with finding something to wear every day and I have so many clothes y'all but nothing I didn't have no winter stuff so so yeah I just got a bunch of winter time fits sweaters sets um this one is really cute it's like a you know like big soft pants I'm all for like big pants nowadays i just love a little oversized pants and it came with like the little you know sweater shirt so just like real comfy cute stuff that is literally what i'm about i love a good set i'm a set girl I yes i brush my teeth and high five go sorry go sorry go sorry go sorry you're a big girl. You're a big girl. You're a big girl. I'm not a baby. I'm not a baby. You're not, I'm a, baby. not a baby. That's right. So I'm a big girl. I think I'm. Yay. So proud of you. Good job. I got that day beauty from right there. Oh, TRJ Beauty? Yes, girl. We know what's up. Ah! This is what we got to do it for. Listen, Zara be all the time. TRJ Beauty, bitch. I'm like, that's so cute. But yeah, I got my TRJ you Beauty. You got that? Yeah, that's, that's mommy's company. Huh? Yes. That maybe you gonna take over one day. You wanna take over TRJ Beauty one day? Huh? Yeah. And maybe it could be Zara B Beauty. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Says the girl who loves road trips. And normally I do, but this sinus cold I got going on, I'm just like, man, I have been in the car sleep <laughs> for like an hour because I just had this bad headache. Um, it's this sinus headache coming back. I took more medicine, it's just not even working. Um, Yes, I just terrible headache. I just had to pull over um, and just try to sleep it off. Um, I'm feeling feeling better, but I'm just like, you know what? Let me just enjoy the journey. Like, I done came to Target. Okay, I like this tripod. Brand put me on with this tripod. I'm sorry for saying I hated your tripod because because I actually love it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just take it easy 
and like enjoy this road trip i'm not gonna try to race to get anywhere like I'm god just reminded me like this road trip is part of your slow down time so i'm just not gonna rush like let me just be outside for a little bit like you know um sit in the car shoot i i knew i was supposed to slow down this is man i'm telling you the holy spirit be dealing with me like i be ignoring the holy spirit so bad and it's not even like intentionally i just be like oh i don't know like i don't know like maybe no nah, that ain't what they're trying to tell me maybe i just gotta push through it you know what i'm saying but most of the time i find out and i don't know why i keep having to find this out when i should just know better by now but i always find out that like no you know what i'm saying like the holy spirit is is the power and the voice that first tells you like you know when you, people say always go with your first mind baby that's the holy spirit trying to lead and guide you and so i just always like ignore my first mind like when i went and started out on the um on my road trip i went and got some food and i knew that i was just supposed to sit down and eat but here i am trying to drive and eat rushing and girl i get this blinding headache that makes me pull over anyway so i feel god is just trying to get me to slow down and you know like just just slow down but yeah i'm gonna just slow down and listen to the holy spirit and listen to what god is trying to tell me because i feel like god is trying to tell me something and i keep asking like am i supposed to go like i don't know i feel like the fact that i'm even asking am i supposed to go maybe i'm not supposed to <laughs> i honestly feel like i'm not gonna leave georgia i just feel like some for some weird reason i'm gonna chill in the car i'm gonna wait till this headache is completely gone um i went to target put up at Target. i got a couple energy drinks i had these before alani alani energy drinks i got two they was two for four i don't even know if i'm gonna drink this right now because i'm not trying to have energy right now honestly i just want myself to relax i just want to relax i'm not hustling and bustling my hustle season my hustle culture i'm killing it it's dead it's over with like i'm tired of hustling in every way like i'm just so sick of hustling and you know god has already been showing me um like this next season of my life is not about being busy not about hustling not about having new things popping and and none of that no nope. it's like truly resting and taking time and listening listening to god listening to direction and a lot of times you know listening and waiting for direction is slow it's not a you know like god show me what to do and then god just show you what to do no nah. god show me what to do and now i wait until i know until i feel and see and experience god showing me and telling me what to do and you know it's not one thing you can't sit up here and say, oh, but this is the way God is going to show you this. No, like you don't know. You just don't know. But it's, y'all, it's a journey. It's a journey. Trusting in God is a journey. There is just no, like, steps, you know? Like, of course, we have a book. We have the Bible. But it's like, it's so much deeper than that because it's your personal walk. It's your personal journey. It's your personal relationship with yourself and it's your per that personal relationship with yourself that is where you find god and you commune with god and you talk to god and god speaks to you like it's not like how people make it seem you know it's really like a internal walk and so it's 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 not laid out for you like nobody has a book for your life nobody has like the answers for you um only god does and that's a journey even like finding those answers because we want to know everything so quickly we want to just do everything so so fast and just like you know we be racing and rushing to do everything and it's just it's you know god is so slow <laughs> what i'll find it for myself is that god speaks you know not asset prevention i'm weak Listen, this Target, 
he kind of scared me rolling up like that. I already got the vibes as soon as I walked into this Target that, oh, people be stealing. Because, like, y'all got lost prevention at the door. Y'all, like, all the workers just seem to be on high alert. Like, I never get that vibe out of Target. But I felt like I was being watched and just, like, as soon as I got up to the self-checkout, I felt like the employee just, like, walked up and, girl, lost prevention out here roaming the parking lot. I'm like, dang. Yeah, um... God has just been showing me how slow um, and gentle this walk really is. It's not really a boop, 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 hustle, bustle. Do, 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 do. Hi, ya, sa, sa. <laughs> well, Isaac be like, hi, ya, ha, ha, hi, shum, shum. <laughs> I feel like that's how I be trying to act. I'm not six, okay? I'm about to be 30 years old. I need to slow down. Just slow down. That's it. Slow down. Mmm. And that's soft life, okay? We want this soft life. But we still want to be hustling and bustling with everything. Slow down. Mm -hmm. this trip has just been so not what I thought it was gonna be like y'all know I stopped my head was hurting I just felt off I had to sleep sleep off a headache God told me to slow down I know for a fact just slow down so I slowed down um and then you know I went to the bathroom with the target made my target stop went to the bathroom you know, felt like I'm okay. I'm cool. I'm ready to go ahead and head on to Tennessee. I get back on the road, not even like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes later. I gotta pee. I'm like, I just pee. Like, what? <laughs> what in the world? Like, I just literally just used the bathroom. Like, it is no way. And then I, I'm saying, when I gotta pee, I like, I gotta pee bad like this ain't no little like I can wait a little bit no like it just happened so fast and so I got off on the first exit you know I seen cuz I, I feel like I'm headed into the trees and the sticks and stuff where I ain't gonna see no exit for a little bit so I get off I go into this pilot uh, gas station use the bathroom I'm still I'm taking my time cuz I just feel the Holy Spirit like just slow down slow down slow down so I'm like I'm just chilling oh are you freaking me? like that baby oh i'm chilling i'm taking my time browsing the stove you know what i'm saying so every calls me and he like just curious like which way you headed and i'm like what you mean like i'm headed to you like i'm seeing your location you on the west side of atlanta and i'm like i check where i'm going and i'm going to a whole different city my directions are set to a whole different city like two and a half hours away from him he looked it up i would have literally been going to the middle of nowhere he said it was just a farm like a forest trees the woods whatever and a farm i was going to nowhere and so i just wow like <laughs> so crazy because he was saying like he don't even you know like checking people's location and he was you know wasn't even thinking about it but something just told him like he was out driving and something told him to pull over oh here going to some more food should i stop and get some food but something the holy spirit told him to stop pull over and check my location and he literally called me as i was leaving the gas station about to get in my car and, and head towards the wrong way. Like, girl, I say, this trip is just blowing my mind. I really feel like it's so much bigger than what I what I think. Like, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just trying to go get away. Like, but honestly, the way it's going so far, it's just like, God is trying to get me to like, trust him and just to follow his voice and that's literally what i prayed for when i started out on this trip i just didn't feel right i felt like i don't know foggy i just 
head started hurting I just like I don't even know if I'm supposed to go and so I just stopped and I said you know what Lord just lean and guide me just lean and guide me help me to hear your voice help me to understand like what you are saying not my own thoughts not my own way like I really want to because like I told y'all like I just feel like I always ignore the Holy Spirit I always ignore that nudge that voice and so I just really feel like God is getting me to practice like listening to his voice and just to get me into this place of submission to hear to hear from him because had I not slowed down or just you know it's just so many wow so I'm just I'm back on the road and I'm gonna just enjoy this journey of whatever this is Lord I just thank you for your divine protection I thank you for your direction I thank you and I ask and pray for discernment Lord Lord make me sensitive to hear your voice Lord I cleanse my mind my thoughts my my own heart desires Lord Lord I submit everything in me I submit everything in my mind my heart my body and soul to you so that I can hear the divine way to go so that I can hear your divine guidance and I can feel your divine guidance Lord Lord nudge my spirit when something is wrong Heighten my discernment when something is wrong. Lord, steer and correct me. I submit my way to you so that I may be corrected. I may be redirected into your will. If it ain't in your will, I don't want to do it. If it ain't in your will, I don't want it. If it ain't in your will, I don't want to say it. So, Lord, just direct me in everything that I do. I, I willingly submit my will to yours because I know... It is the truth, it is the way, it is love, it is peace, it is protection, Lord. So I thank you for it now. And I submit to trust you. I submit to believe. I submit to be led by you. And I thank you for the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord. So, <laughs> here I am again. Just taking my time. But I don't. I had to pee again. I ain't never. Never had to pee this much. So I stopped at Chick fil A to eat dinner. I'm like, let me not ignore her. Me being hungry, first of all. Because I showed was like, yeah, how to eat when I get there, girl. Go and sit down. I'm gonna get you something to eat. And sit down. It's dark outside. All the views that I was looking forward to seeing. I have definitely missed them in the daylight. I never have time to myself. So this is like just me be like being driving, me being by myself. It's so different because I feel like there's so much noise around me every day, all the time. I don't know, like it's hard for me to really hear anything, you know? Maybe this trip is just about me being by myself, you know? I'm enjoying this though. Like, I was like, wow, being on a road trip without kids, I, like without anybody, I'm trying to think, have I ever done this? Listen, let me give y'all the tea real quick. Spicy chicken sandwich. Avocado lime ranch. Y'all, it's so good. I'm not a spicy girl. I still like spicy stuff, but the the um, the ranch kind of just knocks out the spice. Like the perfect balance. Don't say I never put you on. That's all. You guys, y'all, y'all, when I say I just got such a testimony, I got such a testimony and I cannot wait. 
to sit down and share it with y'all. But let's get into this room. Let's get into this room because we did not even expect to be here. We didn't plan for this. I'm going to be honest. We ain't even had the money for this. But let me tell y'all, I'm gonna share with y'all this testimony, but let me take y'all on a room tour, okay? First of all, let's get into an unexpected, unplanned God's favor room tour, okay? Y'all, welcome to my room. You come in, you got the beautiful mirror here. You got the beautiful floors. We got a cute, cute little closet on the side, you feel me? Let's step into the room, step into the room. Which way we wanna go first? I think we gonna go this way first. Let's take the bathroom for last. So here's our room. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. We got a closet here. I didn't even open this yet, let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, they got a little robe for us in there. They got some snacks. Of course, they want you to pay a million dollars, but they got them, you know what I'm saying? They got them. And y'all, we got our room view. Look how pretty. Y'all can't even really fully see, but look at the pool. Oh, I wish it was out outside because I was sure it would be out there. And we got a little view of the city. Um, you can hardly see it behind these trees, but you can you you get the gist. We are downtown Atlanta, honey. We're in Buckhead, honey. We got the sitting area over here. How cute is this couch? Like, yes, I love the black vibe in here. It's just so cute. So, yep, that is our room. That is our room. She cute. I like this like divider thing right here. I just love the bamboo. Like, yes, girl, it's fancy. Okay. She fancy, look at the bathroom. Oh, okay. Got the toilet over here, we got some privacy. I like that, very cute, very cute. We got the sink area, super cute. That water ain't going down, I had to wash my hands. What's going on? We are gonna have to call them for that. Um, Here is the shower, super cute. Yes, shower head, okay. But look at this. Oh, we got a little dim. We want a little dim shower. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Let me just give y'all this testimony of God's goodness. Let me give y'all this testimony. Yeah, let me put some lotion on my lips because I'm ashy. I've been excited. Girl. <sighs> wow. I am just, well, I'm, I'm still sitting in this testimony, y'all, because the way y'all have, first of all, I didn't even think I was gonna be vlogging today because I was just like not in the mood. I just wasn't, you know, like I just was like, I'm gonna go on my little weekend getaway and just kind of unplug. I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna do too much. Like I just wanna really, I just want a little break, you know? But like, I'm not, like, no, nah, I'm gonna vlog. And it's just so amazing because I didn't even know the vlog was going this way. I didn't know I was gonna be here right now. But through this vlog, y'all have literally walked with me okay through this day that i just had no idea about i don't even got to explain to y'all the whole trip road trip where i just kept getting turned around i kept like every time i would get on the road i'm telling you something would happen I my head started when i first started driving blinding migraine came out of nowhere and then so i rested and i got back on the road um and then i had to pee and y'all y'all seen it all avery called me i was going the wrong way headed to alabama like girl <laughs> so y'all see me sitting at chick-fil-a right and i'm just like god tell me what to do right now because honestly i don't think i'm supposed to go and god was like if you feel like you ain't supposed to go then don't you think that's me telling you you ain't supposed to go and i'm like oh yeah we is practicing listening to the holy spirit and stuff right so <laughs> and then one thing i just want to share is that like we can be so confused about decisions and everything and when we are confused when we are conflicted that's nine times out of ten steering you the right way to go because i mean every was just talking about this he like you know follow the peace and the peace is the Holy Spirit. The peace is where you're supposed to be. And so I'm like, yeah, if I don't feel peace about it, then obviously, <laughs> obviously I should choose the opposite way. So I'm like, you know what? I started looking up hotels. I'm like, you know, I'm already out here. I already got my babysitter. I'm, I still gotta make this happen, this whole weekend getaway. I gotta make it happen some type of way because I'm out here now. 
but like let me just look up some hotels so i'm looking up hotels y'all i'm an isg member so you get like rewards points and everything clear as day i have ten thousand points okay keep that number in mind i got ten thousand points that's all i got that's all i got it's not really that much when you look at the point system and all that but anyway so i have ten thousand points i'm like man honestly the the hotel that i want i was looking at this hotel and i'm like man i really can't afford that like that like this is not supposed to be that type of trip i'm just trying to get have this getaway to where i can have some peace and quiet so i can work like this not really supposed to be like a luxury self-care type of trip right so i'm like nah i can't really afford this hotel and so i'm like you know but god like what do you want me to do and so i'm just scrolling looking at these hotels trying to see i keep on clicking on the same thing it's saying girl you don't have enough points for this reservation you don't have enough points for this reservation i kept clicking on it too like ten thousand points you don't have enough points sometimes you got to be a little delulu in your faith okay <laughs> and i kept clicking on it but it kept saying you do not have enough points for this so i'm like okay Lord, I'm going to just, I sat in Chick-fil-A for a while. I got in the car. Boom, my mama called me. I'm like, I know this is God telling me something. So I get on the phone with my mama. I'm still scrolling, looking at the hotels, telling her about what's happening. And I like accidentally pushed something to where I booked the hotel. This hotel that I was looking at that I knew I couldn't afford. I knew I didn't have enough points for it. I accidentally clicked the hotel. And I'm like, wait, the page refreshed. And it said confirm, you know, like it had my confirmation number. I scroll down, y'all. Why you say I booked this stay? The receipt. I keep looking at the receipt, thinking like, am I tripping? I booked this stay with thirty thousand points. Not a dollar sign in sight. Not a card number. Not a dollar sign. Nothing. It says thirty thousand points. It said this was a reward stay, like reward points. It says the like the payment method was reward points. 30,000, I had 10,000, God made it 30. Oh, oh Lord. And so I'm like, mama, like I just booked the stay and it says, I booked it with these points and I'm just like, oh my, we praising God and thanking God. And she was like, yeah, you need to, like, you need some me time. And honestly, whoo, I could just cry right now about how much that is true about me needing me time, about me needing to pour into myself and really just spend time with myself, spend time with God. And that's what God was really telling me. You know, I was feeling conflicted because it's like, I want to go see my boyfriend that's what I plan for we like you know looking forward to it and everything but honestly I was just like I really do want to like spend time by myself though like <laughs> but me spending time by myself just didn't seem like it was in the cards you know like I said when I go spend time when I get a hotel first of all I'm a little bougie like I like to stay in a nice hotel like you know what I'm saying it gotta be it got to be that way and so like i said i really just couldn't afford it though so it was like you know maybe i could just do it another time but like when i say god literally lined this up for me to have a free i just <laughs> it's just the way ten thousand points you do not have enough points for this stay that's what it said that's what it said but god said yes she do she got the father the son and the holy spirit he tripled that thing and nobody's telling me god is not real god is not good god works miracles in everything like this may be something so small to somebody that it's just like it's just a coincidence no baby that was my god that was his almighty power that is just and i feel like it really happened like talking to my mom i was just like let me be obedient because i know that something is telling me to stay and you know what the whole time that i was out there driving struggling head hurting feeling sick like every i kept having to pee every 10 minutes and getting off the road literally got on the road at one o'clock by the time i booked this hotel it was eight o'clock and i'm so one to eight o'clock i'm still in georgia and i literally kept telling myself all day like i feel like i'm not gonna make it out of georgia i literally said that on the vlog run it back Run it back. I honestly feel like I'm not gonna leave Georgia. I just feel like 
some for some weird reason. Yes, I said I feel like I'm not gonna make it out of Georgia, and I don't know what it was, but I felt like God was just keeping me from something. And when I say I felt like I wasn't gonna make it out of Georgia, even when I said that earlier, I felt like this really bad feeling, and it was like, dang, that felt like a little like like scary, like that felt a little eerie. And I felt like God was trying to stop me from going. Like God was just keeping me from danger. God was keeping me from something. And it's like God was just really aligning me to get this staycation, this much needed staycation that I've been wanting for so long, honestly. But i just been so, mm, girl. Y'all know we've been keeping our head above water, okay? But God made this possible. Like nobody but God. <sighs> Y'all. This whole vlog is just a testimony of being obedient to the Holy Spirit. I've come to a place in my life, I had this real, raw, like, humbling experience not even that long ago. This was probably like last week. Oh, and I didn't even say this. Cause this is, I'm telling you this is nobody but God. I literally had a dream last week. I was on my phone and I booked a hotel with my IHG reward points. I am not playing with y'all. Like I literally had a dream and I was, oh my God. The booking page, the confirmation page. Let me show y'all the confirmation if I can. If I don't got my information. This confirmation page is literally the page I saw in my dream. I kid you not. I, Cause as soon as I booked or as soon as um like I accidentally booked it and the page came back up that said your upcoming state confirmation number, I was I was on the phone with my mom like mom, this is the literally what I saw in my dream. Girl, girl, I had had a dream. And I remember in my dream because I'm I'm an IHG rewards member or whatever. And I remember in my dream, like I had all of these points. And it's just so crazy that I in reality, I did not have these points, but God did something there. I just, I'm so thankful because it's more than this. Like, it's so much bigger than this, y'all. I just have been so, I've been feeling so distant from God. And when I say that, like, God is never far. But we can disconnect ourselves with just distractions, with just, and it's not about being perfect. That's what God has just set me down. I had this crazy humbling experience last week where God really gave me a new revelation about who God is and just like the vastness, the, the wisdom of God that we will never be able to understand. And I feel like one of my big, big, big issues is that I just wanna know. And I feel like as human beings, we just wanna know. Like don't y'all look outside sometimes and just be like, what what the hell is this like where what are we in like what is my life like god my kids ask me all the time like you know god created the world god created the universe who created god and i'll be like i don't know i want to know but <laughs> but god gave me this like revelation like you will never know and maybe one day maybe in the you know once once we exit out of these bodies out of this world but like you're not supposed to know you're not ready to know god's full wisdom and that's why as human beings all we have to do is be submitted to it because it leads us there into god's wisdom but in our humanness in our flaws in our own thinking everybody always think they are right we mess up we really don't know the way god knows the way who like bro i didn't create myself i don't care i did not create myself i didn't create this world i didn't create the universe so why would I not trust in who did? And why would I not trust for there to be a plan for me? God has already revealed to me that he has a plan for my life. And if you just really cling to that and believe it, like, bro, I'm just telling you, here come my mom right now. Here come my mom. Hey, mom, I, my bad, I made it in. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm over here praising the Lord right now. I'm vlogging right now talking about uh, this experience. I was, right. Yes, I was just talking about how I was on the phone with you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you enjoy yourself time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just excited. I'm about to enjoy my night. <sighs> it's 10 o'clock. The restaurant just closed. They got a restaurant downstairs. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to go upstairs to that rooftop that he talking about. He talking about it's the upstairs rooftop bar. And I might go get me a little snack. 
um and give me a little drink of something you know, okay but yes i'm just y'all i don't even know i don't even know i don't even know what we gonna do what we gonna do lord i'm on a date with god oh! <laughs>tell y'all how this solo staycation just healed me in so many ways that i did not expect like i didn't even realize how disconnected i was so this was like the reconnection that my soul needed you know um these past few years of my life girl they have been just like a constant fight listen from fighting for custody my peace fighting depression anxiety Fighting to pay the rent, girl. Fighting to keep the lights on. Fighting to keep my business going. Fighting to be a better mother. To be present for my kids in the midst of my own fight. To be strong enough and present for them to stand up with them in their own fight. And listen, fighting to stay healthy. Drink my water, mama. Business. Fighting to break cycles. To pave a new path. To just like start my life over again. It has literally been the fight of my life. But you know... God was just telling me, like, it's okay to rest now. You fought hard to get here. You did the work. You trusted me through the fight. Now trust me in your rest. It's okay. You have to nurture the battleground now. It requires silence, stillness. And I know it seems impossible. Like, girl, I cannot catch a break. The bills, the kids, the everything. <laughs> but that everything depends on you following that peace nurturing that battleground nurturing yourself following that peace will lead you into these moments where you can connect with your spirit because listen i'm a living testimony god will make it possible all god wants to do is connect us back to ourselves connecting us back to ourselves is connecting back to god to creation to nature so one thing i found to be absolutely true is the journey of seeking god seeking peace seeking love seeking the truth it's within you it's in your spirit god lives there god speaks there that's why we got to slow down and nurture it you'll find that there's just this beautiful garden waiting to bloom and during my staycation i ended up at this garden and it just spoke to me like somebody tends to this garden you know like somebody nurtures this garden to make it what it is god nurtures this garden like just look at creation you know how it rains and the trees grow and so it's the same with our spirits i believe our spirits are are like gardens and it reminds me of galatians 5 22 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness and faithfulness